What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. The Galaxy Note 10.1 packs a lot of punch and a pretty diminutive package. Uh, but one of the cool things that it does do is called multi-screen and it's exactly what you think it is. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick demonstration. All right, so the Galaxy All right, so the Galaxy Tab, in addition to being what appears to be thus far a really solid tablet, uh, has a cool feature called multi-screen. Uh, it works on select applications, mostly Samsung's dedicated. It lets you, well, run two applications at once. Let's go ahead and open up S Note. I'm going to use the S Pen here because it's way easier to show you. Uh, so you've got an option there. It says multi-screen. We'll go ahead and select that. You go ahead and pick different uh, applications that'll work there. So you know, email, gallery, office, or video player. Let's go ahead and pick internet right now. And it gives you some options for what you can do how to close the application or switch windows. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK and learn on the fly. Uh, now you get well, two applications running side by side. So you can go ahead and you know, jump right over to Yahoo. Uh, and you can go ahead and view things just as you would if you were using this dedicated browser. You can scroll through. Uh, if pinch to zoom was allowed, you can go ahead and do your pinch to zoom. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a new site. Um, it's something cool as well. Uh, the keyboard can expand or contract based on your uh, desire just by doing a little pinching. So if I, I can move it, I can expand it. At least in theory, I should be able to expand it. There we go. And I can go and select full QWERTY. I can pinch back. And I can select split, uh, really anything uh, that I want. So let's go ahead and go to technobuffalo.com. There's a dedicated .com button. We'll go ahead and hit go. And we should be off and running. And while this is doing this, I could be doing all kinds of drawing here uh, on notes or manipulating text or really anything uh, that has to do um, with text. It's kind of neat. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go back to the website, get rid of the keyboard. And you can go ahead and do you know, all your scrolling, pinch to zooming and everything. Uh, works just as it would uh, on any other application. Um, so we're running it in portrait right now. Let's go ahead and see if this thing works in landscape. I'll go ahead and rotate it. And it does. It just sort of stacks them top and bottom. Uh, but again, that same functionality you're going to have is right there. So you know, if you want multitasking, uh, this is about as real multitasking as you can get. Uh, when you want to close one of the applications, option in the upper right-hand corner. It's going to be for closing it. And you're going to go back to full screen. Uh, so a pretty cool feature, actually, overall that we've seen here uh, with the Galaxy Note 10.1. Uh, pretty useful if you're browsing an email and you want to go and check something on the web. You don't have to completely close out of an application. Or you're watching a YouTube video or a video from your video player, rather, in the background and just want to doodle some notes. Uh, it's going to be a pretty handy feature. Um, I'm not sure how often I actually use it, but during our test of the device, as uh, we sort of figure out uh, if it's the right tablet for us to recommend, um, we'll go ahead and give that uh, a shot and be sure to let you know. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.